The deadly gas explosion in downtown Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. First responders had already been answering a call about a punctured gas line, but look at this. Then the massive blast occurred, killing a fire captain there and injuring several others. Tonight, nearly the entire block is now gone and families are being told at this hour it is still unsafe to return. ABC's Alex Perez from the scene tonight. This bird's eye view showing that monster blast the ravaging Main Street in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Entire buildings leveled, to thick clouds of black smoke filling the air. There was this big boom and it knocked me to the ground and I felt it like it took the breath out of my body. We need to get everybody away from the building. Authorities say a contractor working nearby cut through a gas line Tuesday night. Officials quickly evacuated most of the area, but about 40 minutes later, that monster explosion. Trisha Budig witnessing the aftermath. There were flames, there were cars on fire. Um, some of the buildings were, the, all the windows were blown out. That devastation is still smoldering hours later. Buildings sheared right off of their foundation, tons of debris. Authorities confirming volunteer firefighter Corey Barr died from his injuries after responding to the scene. Five other firefighters were treated. Barr was a 15-year veteran of the force and leaves behind his wife and twin daughters. David, gas in the area remains as shut off. Crews are still on the scene inspecting the damage. Officials tonight saying miraculously no civilians were killed. David? All right, Alex, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.